And now for the unboxing of the really exciting piece. It, it was a bit of an impulse purchase in that I didn't in, walk into the shop intending to purchase one of these. However, I have been looking at sock knitting machines online for at least three years, I think. And I have been very tempted to purchase one many, many times. And I guess when they had one in the shop and I could look at it and, and yeah, it was too much. So I purchased it. So in some ways it was a spontaneous purchase because I didn't walk in the shop expecting to buy one with the intent to buy one. I didn't even know that they had them in the shop. So when I saw them, it's like, yeah, I think I'm going to purchase this. So this is an Addy Express Professional. These knitting machines by Addy come in three size apparently. There is an egg which is quite small. There's this one which has 22 needles and then there is the king or king size version which has, I think it's 46 needles. I've just been watching some YouTubes on them. So my intention for purchasing this is to make my sock knitting much faster. At the moment it takes me, it has taken me, I've only made two pairs of socks mind you, it has taken me at least one year to make a pair of socks. I would like to keep making socks but I would like to make them quicker than a year. So I'm hoping that this is what this can do for me. Having watched some YouTube you can make hats and all kinds of things with these and you can even do flat panel knitting, not just tubular knitting with these machines. Anyway, without any further ado, let's open up and see what's in the box. I have not opened this box before now, so we are going to find out what's in here together. Hmm. Okay, so we have some foam here, which is just protecting a handle on the machine. And lift that up a little bit, you can see what's in there. And then uh, over here in the corner, we have clamps and legs. So clamps so that you can clamp the machine to the table to keep it more um, stable whilst you are knitting. Uh, one of the videos I watched, the person was going quite fast as she was knitting the rows. There's also some legs, so the legs fit on the bottom of the machine apparently. So there should be four legs, yes. One, two, and three, four legs. And over in this other corner, we have, these are spare needles. The white ones and the machine I believe has three black needles kind of tells you where the start and the beginning of rows are and they also include a I'm not sure if you can see on the video there there's a red plastic yarn needle in there as well and then we have the actual machine itself which I will just lift out of the box right now and in addition to that there is a book so I'll just move the out of the way. Have a look in the book. Hopefully this is not going to all be in German. So yes, as you can see the Addies are made in Germany and we all know that Germans, German made stuff has um, is very good quality generally. So this is uh, telling you how to set up the machine, a page telling you all the different parts, how to put the legs on, how to put the clamp on. Uh, there is a, this in, machine includes a row counter. Uh, and then this is how to do plain knitting. So talking about a casting on the stitches. And then it tells you about circular knitting. So as I said, you can either do flat panels, which means you can make really large things just by sewing panels together, or you can do the tubular circular knitting, which is what I will use obviously for my socks. Um, but I've also, as I mentioned before, seen people knitting things like beanies really quickly with those. So that could be something to do as well. Telling you how to take your items off. Then this is about multicolour knitting, so this tells you how to change colours, uh, coloured yarn as you're going. 
um, crossing yarns. I'm not sure what that's about. And then what have we got here? Tips and tricks. Always very handy. That's why I've been watching some YouTube so that I have some tips and tricks up my sleeve already. And that's it for the book. So no patterns in there, which I'm a bit surprised at. Um, I thought there may be a pattern book in here, but there's not. However, having done a little bit of Googling, I have found already a few patterns for beanies and for socks. So yeah, this is the Addy machine. These holes here are where the legs are going to go. There is a counter on here. This counter is um, an analog, so it's not digital at all. Uh, obviously there is a pin somewhere that as you go around, it's going to click over to the next row. And then this here is just to adjust and change the row count. So you can set it back to zero or set it wherever you want to. This is the crank that makes the whole machine go around. This is the yarn holder so you thread you cast on and then thread your yarn through there and then as you go around the machine does the knitting for you so I'm really looking forward to giving this a whirl I don't know whether I'm brave enough to um to video my first attempt because who knows what might happen but that could be a lot of fun so there you go this is the Addy Express Professional uh, Oh, I, I can't wait to use this. I think I might make a beanie. They do suggest to um, you make a hat as the first thing that you make because it's going to be simpler than anything else. So that's what I'm going to do. Have you been looking at buying one of these? Have you thought about buying one of these machines? If so, what were you going to buy it for? Tell me in the comments below, what were you going to make or what would you make if you had purchased one of these? What would you make? And would you buy this size or would you buy the bigger size? Or would you perhaps buy the smaller size? I'm not even sure what they're all used for, but uh, I'm excited to get going. So I hope you uh, have enjoyed seeing and that's been informative for you and helpful for you to see what's included in the box with this Addy Express Professional machine. So there you go. Enjoy your day, everybody.